Hi everybody, I'm Nikki and today I'm going to teach you how to put your Thule roof racks on a bare roof. Now I spent all day looking at other YouTubes, researching how to do this, even looking at the directions and I noticed there were simple things that nobody explained that actually ended up being mistakes on my end. So I went ahead and figured everything out so you didn't have to. I have an 06 Prius. This works on a range of different ones. Depending on the car you're using, you'll get a fit kit for that and they'll give you all the instructions and measurements that you'll need and follow the same steps. I'm going to show you everything you need to know down to the simplest form. Let's do this. This is a three-part roof system. So we have the clamps, the fit kit, and the bars. I'm going to show you how to assemble all of them. It's going to be great. This is for my 2006 Prius. The three parts we're using is the Thule Wing Bar Evo 135, the Thule Evo Clamp, and the fit kit for a 2006 Prius. So the first thing is the actual wing bar. Thing I just did one so you could see what it ends up looking like, but this piece right here, it actually comes fused together and then you just rip it apart and then we put it together like so. You'll notice that each one has a little groove on the inside and then that these have the grooves here. So you'll take the one without the arrows and the short side facing the Thule symbol and you'll start to pop those into the groove and you'll go all the way down. And then the same thing for this one with the arrows facing up, that's the shorter side in, we're gonna start popping that in just like so. And we'll take that all the way down to the end. Another thing you're gonna wanna make sure that everything pops in, right? So like I noticed that this is slightly lifted. Make sure you hear that popping sound that it goes all the way in. And then we're gonna to come to these ends here. You're just gonna take a scissor and cut that so it's just straight along. I'm gonna lift this slightly to make sure I get a good cut. Like a glove. So I just cut my edges, but something to note is when you take these out, it leaves little marks and it's really, really hard to get back in. Next, we're gonna take these things and we're going to go ahead and slide them in the side. This is on the back of the bar. With this part out, you just wanna take it just about to there. So now that we have these all set up, next we're gonna take our Thule Evo clamps, and that's these four things. And then it comes with a little sticker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna label each one on what they are. So this is the rear left, rear right, and then we'll sticker these on, front left and front right. It doesn't matter which ones you do, we're just labeling them. Next, from our fit kit, we're gonna take these, right? And you'll notice this number, this one says 134, this one says 133. The reason it does that is because on the instructions for the kit, Right over here, it's gonna show you what partners with what. The rear right is gonna take the 134, and the front right is gonna take the 133. Same thing over here, rear left 133, front left 134. What that means is these pieces right here are gonna go accordingly. So 134 with the front left, 134 front right, 133 with the back, 133 with the back. So in your fit kit, these will also have numbers. For the 2006 Prius, they all happen to be 306, but that's how you'll also match up these parts. Next, you're gonna remove this part. Uh, don't be afraid to break it, because you won't. Uh, I thought I would when I first started, but if you just come underneath, it just pops right out. And the next thing, we're gonna take our foot pads, and you'll see right on the bottom here, this is gonna match exactly to your foot pad. So with this side down, we're just gonna go ahead, match it all up and fit it on. There you go. So I wanna get all this right the first time. So I'm gonna label everything, right? So there's X is the front, Y is the back. So let's label it, right? front, back. And that's why I'm also keeping all these things together, right? It's so important to just get it right the first time. So since X is the front and I wanna take it to 41, I'm gonna take my slider and it has all the numbers along here. I'm gonna take it to 41 all the way to the edge, right? So let's get that perfect. 
I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then for Y, that's the back, we wanna be at 39. So I'm gonna do the same thing here and take it to 39 on both sides. And 41. Perfect. What I'm doing now, because I just like to stay organized, is I'm placing my bars as if they were on top of my car. And now I'm taking, based on the stickers, so this one's rear right, front right, and so on, and I'm putting them together. Okay, so when we're placing these on, one thing to be really mindful of is that you're matching up your rear, your front, your right and left, but also that the bars are facing the right way. So you want the fat end to be the front, up to where this is the back and this is the front, right? So I actually, the first time around, accidentally had this is the front. So that's why I'm just measuring these up. I like flip them first to make sure it's the front. Now I'm gonna start to install these. So if you look in here, when you press these down, see how that presses down right here? What that does is it releases this and that's how you're gonna put your bar on. So let me just flip this over and I can show you exactly how to do this. So what we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead, press these down so this comes down and slide this on to exactly where it should be. And then when you release, that's when it clamps. Beautiful. And now that we have these on with their corresponding numbers, we're gonna take these fillers and that's gonna come right in here. As you can see here, we'll put it in. So let's go ahead and pop that in. We'll push it so it goes to the end. And what I'll do is I'll use my thumb as a gauge. I'll lift it up and I'll cut it right at my thumb line. I'll pop that back in. And as you'll see, that leaves it perfectly for this. Cut it so you have this hole here. And these will pop right on. So if you're like me and you put it in the wrong direction, totally fine. And now we're ready to put this onto our car. So I went ahead and I went into a couple forums and read online about other people who tried to install these. And in the process, as I'm putting these on, actually the measurements that Thule gave me for the 06 Prius are off. And I noticed a lot of other people had that problem. So what I did instead was I loosened these and I even um, took it out a little bit and then placed it in to where it would just fell flat. Um, so you might have to do the same thing and your measurements might be off and that's okay. Apparently that happens across the board and that's just how we adapt. So measurements will be off. You just wanna make sure that these are flat, you loosen them and then we'll just take that wrench and retighten them. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead, put this over on each side for now. Same thing with the front. Okay, so we have our measuring tape and we have our directions. So as you'll see right here, we have one measurement and we have another measurement. So Z is the front of the car, edge of the window to the edge of here. So we're gonna go ahead and measure, Z is gonna be 13 and three quarter inches or 350 millimeters. So from the front window to here, so 13 and three quarters. So we're actually almost exact. Wow, I rock. Gonna push that back just slightly. 13 and three quarters. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and measure the other side. Remember, it's for this one, it's to the edge. So we want it at 13 and three quarters exactly, which means this one needs to come up just a quarter inch there. 13 and three quarters. So now I snap these in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take this, pop it in right here, just for good measure before I go ahead and clamp this in. I'm just gonna remeasure. And then what I'll do is I'll take this turnkey and I'll pop this in right here. And I'm gonna tighten it to about 50%. And now come around the other side with me. do the 
same thing on this side. And then this, I'll probably take this one to about 80%. Get around to the other side again. You just wanna make sure that we are tightening these evenly on each side. Just a fun little game of back and forth. Should be the one. You hear that pop? That's how you know it's good. Let's get it on this side. Wait for the pop. And it's in. Now we take our covers. And we just pop them right in. Now we're going to install the back part, right? Let me go ahead and get our measuring tape. Now that we have the front on, we're gonna measure the W width. And for us, we're gonna want 25 and 5 eighths inches. So the front of one bar to the front of the other bar, we're gonna take 25 and 5 eighths, which is quite a bit forward. So let's go ahead and get that right here. 25 and 5 eighths from front to front. I've got that here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this down Perfect. And then just double check that that's 25 and 5 eighths. Perfection. Let's get the other side. Here to here. 25 and 5 eighths. Remember front to front. Let's get that perfect. I'm gonna open my door just to get a little closer. Doesn't want to go on. I'm gonna go ahead and place this where it should be. This doesn't want to pop down. I don't think that's correct. There you go. You wanna do that? You want so I popped this down, <laughs> figuring it out as we go. It's at this step, when I'm measuring front to back, the measurements are completely off um, by a few inches. And apparently that's normal. Other Prius owners have the same problem. So what I did was I just loosened all the clamps, slid it to where it was flat and it was gonna be nice, and then tightened it because the measurements are off. So if you found that the Thule directions measurements are off, that's okay because they probably are. Just make sure you see, you secure these flat and where it makes sense for whatever you're putting on top. So I went ahead, I'm popping this down, making sure this is on correctly. I did have to move this to make that happen. So I'm just gonna remeasure from bar to bar. We place these in. We measured these out right, placed them in. There's an option to just plug these up with the black pieces that they give you, or you have your own special locks. What you do is you take the key, you place it into your lock, and then what we're gonna do is you just gotta find that perfect spot where it goes in, and then you lock it, and it's in nice. So we're gonna do that to all of them. Find that perfect spot where it goes in, and you lock it, and they're all on nice and tight. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how you install your Thule Evo wing bars on a bare roof. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll teach you everything you need to know.